All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Got a quick review for you, something that I'm pretty excited about and wanted to share with everybody. So I do obviously a lot of camping, fishing, um, trips away, all those sorts of things, and always have had a portable butane gas cooker. Had it for a number of years, can't kill it, you know. Throw the old fry pan on top, away you go. Seen this uh, on a local TV show um, and I thought, wow, this is sort of a slight change um, on how it works, but it looks really exciting, and I thought it would be really handy about to cook other things in. So I went down to Bunnings, and the one at Bunnings, there's a whole, all the different shops, Big W, Bunnings, uh, BCF, Anaconda, they all offer their own sort of slight take on the, top, on, the, on the type of cooker that this one is. But this one I grabbed, from B uh, I grabbed it from Bunnings because it's got... Uh, a little wind guard around it, which I think will be a bit better than some of the other ones that didn't have that. Um, if you do cook in a little bit windy conditions and having to play hide and seek with the, um, the little box to, to block the wind coming through. So this one, it's a Gasmate brand from Bunnings. Was 89 bucks. Comes with, obviously, the case. It's not heavy duty, but I'm sure it'll last a long time. The case I've got, still the same. Now, what the difference is on this particular one is I'll spin it around the lower half looks pretty much the same as what you're always used to but the top half's a little bit different so it's actually got a non-stick tray I assume it's aluminium non-stick coating on it and also comes with a glass lid so if you want to cook and the insides I'll just quickly show you what it looks like inside so the uh, the gas tubes that you can see there run around in a big um, you know circle sort of a shape and it's a lot more gas coming out of it than the regular old round ones that you get. Now, this will be, I think, super handy. And you can see here, this is the, the wind guard, so the lip that runs around the top of it. I think it'll be really, really handy to have when you're out and about, if you want to cook up like hot dogs, you don't need a pot, you don't need to carry multiple different things, especially when you're on somewhere that space is fairly limited, like on a boat and whatnot. I could put uh, hot dogs, sausages, cook it all in here, depending on what, I could cook up curries, and I've got just one big pan to do everything. And it's that would be a good 30 centimeter by 20 centimeter pan there. Now, for people that have never seen these, never used them before, they're really, really easy to load. Um, so. You get these cans of butane, I think it was five bucks for three cans. The cans last for ages. You'll see in the top of the can here, there's a little cutout. That, when you open up this side thing, uh, just lean this forward here, hopefully everything doesn't fall apart. And in here, you just line that up and stick the, uh, the little pointy bit in the hole. Close the lid, make sure it's in the uh, off position. Push that down, which will engage uh, engage the rod and allow the gas to start to flow. And you can, as soon as you turn the handle, you can hear the gas flowing, and woof, it's up and going and running away. So pretty straightforward. Then when it's turned off, when you're finished, just turn it off. Click the lever. If you leave that lever down, it will run out of the gas. I've had that happen in the past. Um, and obviously, it's a, it's safety mechanism to stop people from uh, setting things on fire accidentally. Now, there are instructions on the back if you do are a little bit unsure on what the steps are and how to do it. But, like I said, 89 bucks. I thought that would be really good, especially with my trip coming up. Something easy to have in the boat. Don't need to carry multiple equipment, um, pans, pots, to do what I need to do. And, uh, yeah, so, hope you've enjoyed it got any questions yell out go and have a look at them uh in store see what you think uh i think the pans and so on you know you will be able to replace them if they do happen to break or you know get all scratched up and whatnot the other interesting thing uh which i've i have had a bit of a look at you probably won't be able to get a a large fry pan that would have to actually sit on the lip here that runs around but there's this um bit of a triangle bit of metal that comes out otherwise you'll need to look for sort of a, uh, a rectangle type pan to sit on the little on the little shoulders there that run around it so just something to be mindful of if you're expecting to be able to cook with your fry pan and your other one but I guess you'll you know you can have a go and see how it comes oh and the other interesting little bit is if you are cooking with something fairly fatty you have a few spills 
this tray actually just pulls out of there so you can pull it completely out uh, and you can clean it, clean it and insert it back in there and away you go. The base uh, is hard plastic. Now I have seen these in the past get ridiculously hot and melt so if you are cooking something that's going to take you know a fair bit of time you might want to keep an eye on that and make sure that it's it's probably not on something that can melt or burn easily like anything that you use that you know requires gas or fire and so on so yeah good bit of gear thanks again for watching Aussie Dad Life hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next video cheers